Got everything set up, right? Lots to talk about. All right. What's up, buddies? Welcome to another episode of The Poor Man Road to Glory. I, it's been, a, what, a few days? Or a, about almost two days since I've recorded anything, uploaded anything to YouTube. I just needed a bit of a break, man. That last episode was the most emotional, insane episode ever. If you missed it, I doubt anyone that enjoys my content has missed last episode. But if you did, we unlock the Prime 94 Dino for 885,000 coins. That's what it cost us to unlock him. I still can't believe it. Uh, and then, from one of the packs, as if poetically, we pack a Team of the Year card from one of the clubs that he played for as well. It was just insane. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you go watch the last episode. Uh, on this episode today, we got a lot of stuff to go through. I've built a new team, my new dream team. Uh, we managed to actually complete this squad and then only have 6,000 coins left in the club. Now, I still have a club full of consumables uh, and crazy amount of items to sell. We're doing the bronze pack method. So we're building our coins back up. But essentially, we had this team and almost zero coins. So we get to like have our dream team and then start building back up. Now, there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. Today, EA have released notes and a patch update for PC, which addresses all of the issues or a lot of the issues that myself personally have talked about for the last year and a half since uh, Fut Champs has been out. More recently, over the last month, we've made videos dedicated on me and I'm sure other content creators as well, but I'm, I'm talking about myself to my viewers. So I'm just gonna refer to myself about me bitching and moaning about the things that need to be changed, getting into Ultimate Team, loading into Ultimate Team, um, and and all of that good stuff. So we will talk about the patch notes that are coming. FUT Champs, loading into FUT Champs is now changed. They're fixing and working on the kickoff boost and trying to get rid of the kickoff boost. So all of that stuff we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna show you, and it's right here for those of you guys in, in detail, FUT Bin as well. Um, bless their hearts, have it well covered. So we'll use their tweet about it. Um, FUT Bin of course is a website to build squads and do all of that stuff, really, really good people. Um, but before I show you guys the team and everything, let's have a quick look at marquee matchups. Uh, then we'll get into the details about um, about the patch update. So marquee matchups, then cover the patch update, then look at the squad. I'm going to show you guys the squad builder that we did. Um, you might even see it. It might be spoiled a little bit for you guys, but I'll show you guys that. And then we're going to go into a game. We're in the semifinal of the daily knockout tournament. And uh, what I try to do for the daily knockout tournament is if we get into the final, I play, get my games because the servers are so clean. Uh, once we get into the final, I then throw the game and allow whoever's in the final to win and get themselves into the weekend league because I'm already qualified for the weekend league, right? So there's no there's no need for me to knock out the person in the final. A lot of people will then bitch and moan saying, well, what about the round of 16 opponents? Could, you know, semi-final, quarterfinal opponents. Hey, I can only help out one person. Might as well help out the guy in the most pressure situation in the final, right? If you can get yourself to the final and you match up against me, then I'll throw the game and allow you to win. You know, you know, you want to, you know, put it in quotes. I will just lose, if you will. Anyways, let's get into the marquee matchups. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Got my coffee ready to go. Um... We've got Emmanuel Petit favorited up as well because I do think he's going to be the next guy that we got to go with. All right, let's go. Oh my God, the bronze pack method. Oh my God, look at these teams. Jumbo premium gold pack. Sport. Oh my God, they're making marquee matchups actually awesome. Okay, Sporting CP and Porto. Let's see if I have any of those players. I don't think I do. I think I rinsed everything, but we'll check. Oh, Corona. We have one. Okay. Um, and Sporting. Come on, baby. Let's go. Silver upgrade method. We only need two of them. So I'll probably do this and this. Um, rating 66. These two will sell. Um, are we thinking they're worth some good money right now? 2,500. They really haven't increased in price. Uh, let's go check out Corona's untradeable. You know what? All things considered, I might actually do that just to help boost the rating. But maybe to boost the rating, we actually include... Let's see if he sells. Let's see if he sells. I'll put him up for 2900 Um, You know, if we get a boosted sale in him, great. If we don't, it's all good. <clears throat> oh, my trade pile's full. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that the trade pile's full. Oh, my God. <coughs> Let's quickly clear the trade pile so we can actually do this uh, effectively. 
Um, okay, so if I avoid the squad, I can go this way, right? There we go. Kind of want to keep the new squad a little bit of a surprise for you guys. All right, and just to show you, I, this is stuff we've cleared out to buy the dream team as well. I bought, I built a team last at the end of the last episode. We've changed, we've moved away from that team. I'm no longer using 4231. I'm not good enough at FIFA to use 4231. So we're going back to my favorite formation, 41212. And we're just going to try and use the dream team and build up the dream team and make it better over time as well, right? Through improvements. Uh, we're cashing out on obviously our consumables as well. With the latest patch updates, you can now use whatever kit you want. Your favorite kits if you're if you're a top 100 fifa player guess what you can actually wear those kits now and people will not back out on you because they'll have no idea what kits you're wearing oh, i'm so excited i can't wait to go over those patch notes for the new update so i'm just clearing out all the random crap in my club uh that i would use uh let's do this what else do we got here uh this i'm going to store for weekend league so consumables in terms of fitness and healing will save for uh fut champs of course uh, all of this stuff, I'll just relist. Let me just see if there's anything else in the trade pile. Nope, it's okay. So let's relist all that stuff. Still make like three, 400 coins profit per card. So that's not bad. The market's kind of bottomed out a little bit for uh, chem styles. And I think, again, it's because people have figured out, like me and Nep have started talking about how we make money off of it. And now it seems like a lot of people are doing it. So the profits aren't really there anymore. And that's, as I always say, one of the hardest things about documenting a road to glory for a viewer base, whether it's large or like Nep's or relatively small like mine it still lets those people know how you're making money and then those people try to do that and then it kills the trading method you know that's just kind of how it ends up working unfortunately but i made already good money on the chem style so it is what it is if people uh um uh are copying that now we've got a few packs to open but let's jump right back to the uh to the marquee matchups here um your coins what the f my team what the f is 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 more is more important dude all right, so let's list up that player. Um, boom. Do that. See if he sells. If he doesn't, again, it's all good. Now, I'm not going to build the team yet. I want to try. One thing I screw up with marquee matchups is I miss the initial big boost of player prices, right? Melbourne victories or Sydney players won. Okay, so this normally is an SBC that ends up costing a lot, but might not be this time. Melbourne victory in Melbourne City. Woo, got an untradeable one. Let's go. Got a lot of untradeable ones. Damn, son. Only one sellable one? Um. Oh, my God. Holy Lord. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see if he sells for... I bet you this will be a 10K card by, uh, by tomorrow or the day after, but whatever. Try and max out our coins. Small gold player pack. No wonder. It's actually a really good pack. Uh, untradeable, 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 untradeable. Uh, Melbourne. Oh, it's not this one? Oh, it's Mel Sydney. Melbourne victory. Oh, and Sydney FC. Oh, my God. Okay. Yo, fair play. <laughs> Yo, at least I got this one, right? Okay, Sydney, Sydney, Sydney. I am dumb. You guys shouldn't be surprised by that anymore. Ooh! Yo, another one for the coins. Uh, same idea then? Oyo Kobova! Bronze pack method! Let's do 7,500 with a 6k min. Boom. Uh, now, I guess it's a 69 rating. I mean, might as well use this guy, right? He's 64 rated. Gold player's minimum of 4. Uh, players from the same league. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I'll do this after. I'll do this after. I... No need to do it right now. <clears throat> no need to do it right now. We just know we have the players. We've sold the duplicates. Villarreal and Sociedad. Probably not going to have these guys. Golds is, is something I'm very limited to right now because we've cleared out the club. Sociedad, right? Real Sociedad. like la liga is going to be the player of the month that's coming out in a week the first friday of the month is the second of february right why do i feel like la liga oh boys let's go what do you get from this a small prime gold players pack oh my god dude bronze pack method is going to be ball wait what was it again villarreal bronze pack method is going to be so balling dudes 
Holy moly. <clears throat> now, there are a lot of golds for these teams. Uh, <clears throat> there's only one left back, so I don't want to use him. Um, I've, okay, so there's multiple goalkeepers here, so I'll use the goalkeeper for sure. I almost bet that there's... Is there a Villarreal goalkeeper? Like a... Um, let's see what they have actually in their club. Okay, so they've got a decently high-rated goalkeeper. Uh, and a center mid and stuff like that. So that's okay. Let's do this. Gold player six. So probably go by La Liga players minimum of five. So these these bronzes are going to be worth a ton as well. Let's go. I'll do uh, I'll do this. Twenty seven. Rewards for marquee matchups are terrible. What? Those are good packs. What do you mean they're terrible? I kind of want to hold on to these packs. I don't know if I'm going to open these packs this episode, dudes. The new team of the week that's coming looks really good. I might hold these packs for the new team of the week. Because if you get any of the informs from this team of the week, they're they're worthless because of the team of the year that just happened. So I think I'm going to hold on to these for next episode for the, for the new uh, TOTW. Okay, that thousand coin one's probably sold. Uh, Suarez League SBC again. I mean, I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that. I don't... Uh, I'd probably do that, and then he'd probably just stay in the club forever, but... That right back... Let me just see. Does Villarreal have a right back? Before I sell this card, like, am I selling a card that if a League SBC comes out, he'll be worth 10k? Oh, we're fine. Perfect. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Always want to... Always want to make sure with stuff like that, dudes. <clears throat> Isco League SBC. I mean, whatever it is. I just placed that on the transfer list. For God's sakes, man. See, this guy's... Oh, he's not sellable. Okay. For some reason, I thought he was sellable. These guys are untradeable as well. Um, okay, La Liga Santander players. Good. Anderlecht Ghent. Let's see. What are the rewards for this one? Premium gold pack. Okay. Uh, 70 overall rating. RC, Anderlecht, and... Yeah, it feels like it's going to be La Liga and the Pro League. That's what it feels like next Friday they're going to release. I don't know why, but getting us to clear out some pretty valuable Pro League and La Liga players. <clears throat> Belgium, there we go. Um, I need to be very careful what I get rid of here. I need to be... Okay, so goalkeeper. Low-rated goalkeeper. That's fine. He's not going to have much of a value. Um, I mean, he might have a ton of a value. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, the two... Oof. You need one of each. Okay, perfect. So here, Pro League players minimum of five. Uh, what was the other one? RSC Anderlecht. Oh, man. And you know this guy is going to be worth... Oh, it's you know it's going to be worth... These two are going to be worth a fortune. Let me look at how many... Um, how many right backs Anderlecht has. Again, that, that's a good way to figure out if I'm getting rid of someone that has is going to have a huge value. Okay, so they have... To, ooh. Okay, and then how many center mids do they have? Oh, they've got... Go oh, they've got... They've got gold center mids. But they only have... Hold on. What about cams and CDMs and stuff? Cams. Mmm. I'm not excited about getting rid of any of these. They don't have a lot of... Uh, a lot of cards. I guess I'm gonna do this. I actually think the right back... <clears throat> I mean, the right back I can pack, though. You know? It's going to be a lot less likely. I, with the bronze back method, it'll be more likely that I pack the right back again than I would pack this guy, right? So that's probably the better choice. Okay. And then let's go look at K.A. Gent, Gent in terms of what uh, midfielders they have before I decide to sell mine. Okay, so they've got... See, they have way more midfielders. And again, oh, jeez. 
I don't know. I just feel like... Let's see. How much is this guy worth? Three. All right. I might regret this, but hey, whatever. Whatever. They have gold center mids. Yeah, but they only have two. What if they release a three, like a three, a three center mid setup? You know what I mean? So you guys think keep these two? <clears throat> and he's he's only 2k right now. I think I'm gonna hold on to this guy. Oh my god, this guy. Do I hold on to these cards, bros? What's the move? What's the money move here? A lot of this guy up for sale. I think I hold on to these, bros. These guys are untradeable anyways. Okay, let's just do that. <clears throat> Pro League players minimum of five. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five. Overall rating 70. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go low high first. Center back. Oh, man. I think, I think it's better if I use bronzes, man. I think it's going to be better if I use bronzes for these. Um, and then maybe a striker. See if we can get a, a strong link out of this. 61 rated, like something like that. 85 chem is only needed. <clears throat> And then, considering it's 70 chem, I think <clears throat> we do this. So where is my League 2 setup? I've got so many League 2 players. Right? I mean, you're untradeable, as it is. That should boost up the rating a little bit. Right center mid. Um... <clears throat> okay, that might not help the rating at all, but let's see here. Just looking at like the 70. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Missed it. Uh, 69 rated. Yeah, it's probably a bit better. Okay. And then over here, we can use whatever. What about Calcio B? What type of ratings do we got for Calcio B players? Left back. Let's go see. Okay, we got a right back. That's a decent rating. Look at all these untradeables. I mean, there you go. I've got a 72 rated left winger. So that's good. Uh, there we go. 71 rated left back. That's solid. And then... Okay. And then left winger. Oh, off by one chem. Okay. Alright. So let's go and do this. No position. And then go League 2 again. Because we've got the... Uh... Oh, we don't have the chem. Would I be... I'd be off by... I'd be off by one chem. Okay. Alright. No worries. That's still 69 rated. Still 69 rated. That's only a 68 rating. Okay, so that takes us to the 70 rating. But of course... Okay, hold on. Let's try... Let's do that. And then... Let's jump back into the... Um, let's jump back right here. So then we go Pro League. Again, I want, like, so are Pro League players in general expensive? And do I sell them off? That's the question as well. Like, do we sell them off even? I don't know if it's... I don't know. See, I don't want to use these... Ay -yi 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 -yi. I don't want to... Like, I do not want to use this. I know it's going to work, but you know that this card is going to be worth a fortune.
These are all going to be worth a fortune, man. Um, they just are. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's go, uh, France. I think this is just, this is a more intelligent way to do it, man. Oh, whoops. What do I have in the club, first of all? Okay. Chem is slightly off. Would this not work then if I did this, this, and then I did this? Uh, what do we say here? Would this not work if I just did this? Are you serious? It's still going to be off by a, by a bit. Okay. Okay, that probably is going to have a... Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. God! I'm a genius! SBC brainchild! Sweet lord! Boom! Easy peasy. Alright, that one's done. Uh, um, Pro League SBC is going to be a bad card in bad packs. Mm, it wasn't last year. The Pro League SBC had a 100k pack as well as the reward. So, I don't know. How do you know? How do you know these things, Mr. Genius Man? Huh? How do you know these things, sir? You claim, you claim to know all of the things. In before, no Pro League SBC. And there might not be. You know what? There might not be. But either way, I've already used the players I need. So, <clears throat> um, the one thing to consider for the Pro League SBC is if the players have gone up in price, right? It might be worth me getting rid of the bronzes. I'm gonna have a look. I'm gonna have a look at the bronze player prices once we're done the marquee matchup. Okay? We still gotta talk about the um the the message from the the FIFA team and stuff too. <clears throat> okay. So minimum of gold players six. So again, La Liga players are gonna be a little bit a uh, little bit overpriced right now, but whatever, it's okay. You know, this is part of the fun of the road to glory is doing these SBCs and seeing what we can get from the packs. La Liga was last February as well. Imagine they just did exactly that. Be interesting. Okay. Six. Okay. Um, or, okay, 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 got it, 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 so let's go buy, uh, two gold center backs, I wonder, like, is this gonna cost money, is this gonna cost a lot of money, or should I be able to do this for cheap, let's see, let's find out, marquee matchups, am I gonna overpay, or am I gonna be able to do this for a decent price? Oh, okay. Never mind. We're good. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Canadian sniper fails again. Oh, I got one, dudes. I got one. Let's go. God. Oh, 450 coins. Let's go. Uh, do EA release marquee Australian marquee matchups a bit too often? Yes, they do. I would agree with that. Just gonna buy this, whatever. Uh, done the marquee matchup for 10k and made 30k. Not bad. Nice. That's good. Hey, profit is profit, brother. Um, I do need the coin, so maybe I do sell the pro league players, man. And then if 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 the pro league SBC comes out, guess what? I just spam bronze packs, and then we'll build up the pro league again. Yeah, if Pro League players are expensive. I think I'm going to sell. Uh, I still need...
Okay, strikers all of a sudden have boosted in price. Hello? Is this... Okay, we got one. Buy an attacker. Task completed, at least. Okay, Roland. Don't buy another Roland, Nick. Wait, what? Okay, let's just back out again. Let's do this. I just... No, don't buy him, you stupid moron. Guys, how do you do... How do you... How do you win... How do you do this? I'm... This is really... I thought, I thought I was the Canadian sniper. I'm not. Just... Just pay 50 more coins, Nick. Come on now. Just pay 50 more coins, dude. Oh my god, I hate myself sometimes. Was I... Oh my god, I hate myself. I really despise myself as a human being at times okay so that's sorted oh god you can claim these things real quick too bronze contracts did i just win a bronze contract pack wow wow we're rich dudes we are absolutely rich uh fitness bronze jumbo pack okay can open that right now. Why not? No inform out of it. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Not as much as I was hoping for, but it's good. Um. So you. Let, let's, do, let's do a quick check for this Belgian player. Has... Oh, there you go. Pro League players have not really gone up in price, dudes. Store that for the weekend. Store all that. Hey, coins? I mean, he should be at least two, three hundred coins. Oh my god. Let's go. Very nice. Okay. Discard all of that. That's fantastic. Did I talk about the patch notes? No, I wanted to do the marquee matchups first and then we're getting into the patch notes. Again, if someone in the comments section, at least for the video, wants to put a little bit of a timestamp, like marquee matchups at minute five, patch notes discussion at minute 30 or minute 40, you know, uh, gameplay with Ronaldinho at minute 50. If you want to do that, you're fine. What pisses me off is when people say, oh, team of the, team of the year pack at 20 minutes. Thank me later. I hate that because that doesn't help that spoils the episode for my viewers you know but if you do something where like nick starts opening packs in the 30th minute people can get to that point and then watch what they want to watch but if you spoil the whole episode with like where just one pack pull is that is kind of what irritates me you know anyways hopefully that explains it out for you guys uh all right let's get over to squad builder i really should have just favorited this damn thing so i don't have to constantly do this there we go Right. PS4 is down. Oh, unlock it. Let's do this. Let's do this. Was this CDM? Yeah. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Complete fluke that they're both from the same team. These guys, is this tradable? That's tradable. This is untradable. So let's get rid of the untradable right back. Okay. Do do. And this can just be legit anything. Perfect. Let's go to England four. Kind of like my go-to league of just getting rid of trash bag stuff. Sorry if one of your teams is in England four. Boom! Small gold player pack. That one's done. Very nice. Han Solo is dead. Oh, you're one of those virgins that tries to spoil movies and stuff like that. Yeah, I get you. Han Solo will forever live in our hearts. And if that is a spoiler for you, then shame on you. If that is a spoiler for you at this point in time, when that movie's been out for what, a year and a half? Shame on you if you're a Star Wars fan, period. 
But that was a spoiler a year and a half later. You're not a Star Wars fan. You didn't go watch the movie then. You deserve to have it spoiled. Uh, Alright. Uh, players from the same league. So what I was thinking for this one is we go Australian League over her. And let's just see what we got. 69 rated overall. <laughs> 69... Right? So we do that. That sorts us out chem wise. And then, I mean, I guess we could just have a look at what gold players I have. And um, let's do this. So again, we've got that Corona dude. Oh, uh, okay. Who I'll be using in that other team. Uh, we've got Slamani. Don't mind using him. Why not? Baines will hold on to. Otamendi will hold on to. Be used for other SBCs. Okay, so who. It was, who was it again? It was Slamani, right? That we had. And look at that. Look at my club. Look how barren my club is. Oh, I love it. Um, so, could one, two, three, four. Okay, one, one, two, three, four. 69 rated. Okay, so let's go do, um, let's go purchase, chem-wise, I think we're sorted already, so I don't need to worry too much about, like, what players I buy, but let's go get a left winger from the Prem. That's awkward. It's very awkward. Hello? Hello? I was gonna say, like, that seems wrong. I could just use two left mids, can I not? Oh, come on now. Come, come. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so there's one. Discard price, that's perfect. Aguero for marquee matchups. Next episode, I'm gonna be opening the packs, bros. Sorry if you guys were waiting for the packs. Okay, there we go. 78 rated. Obviously, pick the higher rated player. That's going to boost up the rating more. Beautiful. So, the Englishman I'll use at left mid. Uh, Choo Choo Train. Uh, we shall use at left wing. Let's go, baby. Easy. 500, maybe? What options? We got an Englishman in there. Stoke. Literally the two exact same cards. It's hilarious. All right, let's go pick up Ibrahim Afalai and uh, Mr. Morrison. Good to go. <clears throat> okay. Um. And what else did I say? So that's one, two, three. Oh, that's too many golds. I didn't even need to. I didn't even need to. I didn't even need to buy that player. Whatever. All right. Well, we can hold on. We can hold on to that. That's fine. Let's jump back over to the uh, marquee matchup. There it is. Uh, Melbourne victory. Okay. So, thought process was this, my dudes. Uh, Premier League. Uh, I got it. This. And then this. This was a complete fluke, by the way, for this to work like this, dudes. Complete and utter fluke. <clears throat> but it worked out. And then um, we could just do this. Nation, Netherlands. Uh, any rating. And then go center mid. What do we got here? Rafa, Vandervaart. Makes me kind of sad to see Rafa Vandervaart stats nowadays, but whatever. Uh, let's just see if I have a right winger. I mean, I know I'm overdue it. No, I don't. Okay, so we'll go back to right mid. Um, <clears throat> nah, Pro League. I'm not getting rid of Pro League players. Uh, just, let me just see. Can I use anybody here? Willem untradeable. Oh, I can... 
I can quite literally use anybody. Okay. So let's do uh, bronze. Any. The lowest rated bronze any. VV Venlo. There we go. That's better. Uh, rating is way higher than it needs to be, but, you know, whatever. It's all good. I don't think that's too much of a big deal, considering it's pretty much untradeable and worthless cards anyways. <clears throat> okay, so another small gold player pack. That's cool. I'll take it. And then finally for sporting... Uh, leagues minimum of three. Okay, so 77 overall. All right, so this is going to have to be pretty much all gold from here. Um, again, we'll just do this, that... Oh, whoops. Just got Morrison we could use. Um, okay, could get him in there to get the link. Could get a leak and player. Could get Russian League or could get Bundesliga. Okay, I'm thinking we do maybe... Something like, something like this. It's 80 chem, so it doesn't need to be perfect by any means. It doesn't need to be perfect by any means, but league's minimum of three. Okay, let me, um, let me just go to the Liga Nos. Sakai is 2k? This guy? Eh. It's not cheap, actually. <clears throat> that is a good point. Um, Alright, let's go any. I just think, like, just have to purchase less players. We could do this. Uh, Liga Nos. Concept center forwards. Oh, let's do striker. Striker or cam will work just fine. Again, untradeables, what it's all about. There you go. Like, what do I care, right? I've already completed the Liga Nos SBC, so. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do I have anything that is going to work? Let's just do that. Okay, 77 rated. So, um... Okay. League 1, League 1, and Russian League. League 1, League 1, Russian League. Got it. Got it. So, we're going to go by center backs, goalkeeper from League 1, and then a Russian League left mid. Again, the chem is... It's not like it's 100 chem, so it's not the end of the world if I, uh, if I don't get it perfect. So let's go here. Russian League is over here. So 76. I need 77, right? So I actually need a higher rated card. Let's go look at left mids. 76 again. Um, so we might have to actually buy a rare card. 78. That works. And he's Brazilian, which works perfectly. Okay. Now, <clears throat> League, uh, League Un, Russian League. You go over here to League Un. Uh. Okay, I went the wrong way. It's all good. What are we looking at? We need some. We need some ratings here. We need some ratings here. We need some ratings. It's the easiest way to figure, like, find the rating, like the highest, the highest. Oh, nine hundred coins. Like eighty or eighty or ninety rated cards. What's the easiest way to do that? Um. Let me just do this. Let me just do this. We'll go here. 
a skip there you go there's a 79 rated card right there that'll help us out 750 coins probably overpaid not gonna lie but whatever um so that's a 79 78 for 700 see this is lazy buying this is 100 percent lazy buying i'm not i'm not happy that i just did that man i, I gotta be more stingy with the coins just because we have the dream team built already doesn't mean that i shouldn't be more stingy with the coins um high rated goalkeeper would help uh there you, oh hell to the yeah 81 rated that should get us there I feel like we're going to be one rating off uh, with the purchases that I've just made. Let's go see if I'm right. I feel like we're going to be one rating off. If not, I'll be very happy. Also happy that we can start talking about the patch notes. <clears throat> how's uh, how's Dino? He's a dream. Honestly. <laughs> he is a dream. He's a dream come true to use. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. He makes FIFA fun. FIFA's still annoying, because the game is still very broken in terms of gameplay, but uh, he makes the game super fun. Oh my god. So I got it, it's just the chemistry that was off. Ooh, I've got an untradeable left wing to left back card. Ha! We can finally use this stupid card. Let's go. SBC Brainchild. Yo, we did great there. That was fantastic. I thought it said 80 rated instead of 80 chem, so I was about to cry a little bit at my own stupidity. Let's go. Marquee matchups done, boys. Easy peasy. Jumbo gold pack out of that for tomorrow's episode. What do you get for completing? Premium gold player pack, so 25k pack. Not bad. Hmm. Not bad at all. Um, okay, so before okay, before we look at the patch notes. Let's show you guys, uh, let's show you guys the squad real quick, okay? I'm gonna do one piece by one piece, okay? One piece by one piece. Here we go. So, the new squad, the dream team, if you will, is Cristiano Ronaldo as my right striker. Absolute gem, we're going with 41212-2, so with the center mids. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo is going to be my right striker coming in with 693 goals in 524 games and 432 assists. Our central cam comes in at none other. The best player ever in his prime, Dino Gaucho. 12 games played, 11 goals, 10 assists from cam centrally. Uh, coming in at left striker is of course going to be Leo Messi's team of the year card who is having a little bit a little bit of trouble at left striker feeling a little bit like my red Mohamed Salah feels a little bit like he wears cement boots I don't understand regular Messi that cost me 800k was god tier this card feels very similar to my red Salah I have no idea what's going on it's probably just me that needs a little bit of time to get used to him that's okay it is what it is uh, still playing terribly this card and in the weekend league, but still playing awful and still has 35 goal contr contributions from 24 games. So I can only imagine once I start doing well with this card, how good he's going to do for me. Uh, so that's our left striker coming in at left center mid being a box to box slash defensive minded player is going to be the God that is red Goretzka with a four star weak foot and a shadow chem style ends up being something like an 89 rated left center mid. 400 games played for the club already defensive duties only most of his games as a super sub so far this year and in 400 games 63 goals 95 assists insane no red cards either fair play to him um at right center mid is going to be artural artural or arturo the god vidal either way six games played for the club already right center mid he's a box to box mid but he also will be getting up the field with that engine chem style one goal only it is what it is at left back, of course, if you've started to piece the team together in your head, is going to... Wait. Oh, God. CDM, I mean. is Patrick Vieira. 800 games will be the first player to 1,000 games for us, undoubtedly, on this account. 39 goals and 103 assists from CDM. God tier. And absolutely not worth upgrading over his 91, considering how good this card is with a shadow card. At left back, now you've probably pieced the team together, is going to be Mr. Alaba himself not better than sandro sandro is the best pound for pound cheap cheap or affordable left back in the game in my opinion 
Alaba, I would place at number four. Fourth best left back in the game I get to use right now, so not too much to complain about, especially on a shadow card. At left center back is Rio Ferdinand. 380 games played, no red cards either. Not a bad goal scoring and assist ratio as well for a center back. At right center back is, of course, our pack pulled from last episode, Team of the Year Bonucci that we will have in the club all year. Whether or not he's in the Dream Team all year, I don't know. 12 games later, though, I love this card. I really do. It's an absolutely fantastic card, man. Uh, I've only used him for 12 games, of which I think I only played five weekend league games so far with him. But he's a good card, man. Very, very good card. So coming in at right back, uh, I'm not sure if you guys would have guessed this if you're watching this video for the first time and have never seen me build this squad, but is Florenzi, who is, I would maybe say, the best balanced right back in the game and it's unfortunately uh that he's so injury prone nowadays because he's a really good card i'd love to see him get an inform but on a shadow he gets of course what 93 or 94 standing tackle uh 88 slide tackle uh i think it's 87 or something like that marking uh 91 or 92 interceptions uh 94 sprint speed 99 acceleration and then you look at his shooting stats and everything else and he looks to be a very very nice right back i've enjoyed him so far i know we've only used him for six games but it's been nice having him in this team for the first time this year and then in goal so far the donkey the new donkey of the club himself handanovich i have no idea what the hell is wrong with this card thank god we bought him for cheap during the weekend when the market was in the in the shithole in the gutter but he is the new donkey of the club man so bad and normally Handanovic for everyone else and for me alike is good um yeah I don't know super disappointing so anyways there's the full makeup of the squad I just I can't believe that on the road to glory we have this team dudes obviously Cristiano's on 8 chem uh Dino is on 7 chem everyone else is on 10 chem um and then we switch to 4 1 2 1 2 in game but I'm just so proud of this club. So this is the dream team on the road to glory in the tail end of January. Someone should screen cap right now this team and then go to FIFA 17 Ultimate Team's Poor Man Road to Glory and screen cap our squad for January, end of January last year. I think I had Ronaldo last year by this point, um, but I had just bought him for 1.888, whereas this Ronaldo we've used for three months now or something like that um but it'd be very very interesting to see so if Handanovic ends up being a donkey any further i might test out gigi buffon uh i might test out there's an informed parent that looks okay there's a second informed me that i would be uh, interested in looking at sirigu uh and then if we start building up coins we could always get ourselves an edwin van der sar i love edwin van der sar uh if he gets a prime card i probably work towards that i did say that i would do yashin but I've seen so many people use his uh, Prime card. And he has the hat and he looks awesome. There's no denying that. But dude. Seems to be a bit of a donkey himself as well. So uh, I'm not entirely sure with that. Anyways, there's the main squad. Uh, we will take this team into the uh, semifinal of the Daily Knockout Tournament. If I lose, so be it. I'm not too upset with it at all. But we will take this team into the semifinal of the Daily Knockout Tournament. If I win... We'll quickly go into the final and then lose to whoever's in the final so that they can get into the uh, into into FUT champs. I, I'm still in disbelief that EA has people qualifying for Weekend League. Everyone in this community should be allowed to go into the Weekend League. Um, and then however you do in the Weekend League is how you do in the Weekend League. Like, that's why they have terrible rewards. Let the terrible players into the Weekend League play against other terrible players you know, if they do well, they play against better players, then get stomped. But it, that's the way it should be. I don't know why EA keeps out like 70% of their community from the weekend league. It's just wrong. Probably the servers can't handle it. The servers are trash bags already. Imagine if the entire community could get into weekend league. That's probably the issue. Um, but that's my hope. Nevertheless, let's have a quick little rundown conversation street as uh the beautiful richard hammond would say on the grand tour which is a fantastic show if you're watching season two nevertheless let's get into a bit of conversation about what we're looking at for the new patch from ea sports so if you are time stamping this in the comments have a look at the video time i think we're at what like 50 minutes into the video <clears throat> if you want to time stamp me of course talking about the new patch update so um 
This is a tweet from Futbin themselves. Uh, you know, just like Futwiz, Futhead, a company that uh, has squad builders and player prices and all of that good stuff. Uh, and first part of the patch notes, this is PC. Um, of course, it will be pushed to console and PS4, I would hope, in the next week or two. Um, so let's read through it. Message from the FIFA team. Player contract and manager contract search filters on the FUT transfer market not returning to correct items. Um, whatever, okay. Uh, specialties displayed for some informed players in team management screens in FUT online match were incorrect. I've never experienced that. Uh, this was a visual issue only with no impact on gameplay. So... This is nice. Made the following changes in online modes. Updated colors used for the connection quality bars in all online modes, including FUT. Uh, five, four, and three bars are green now? Two bars are yellow, one bar is red. This was supposed to be all positive about this patch. Honestly, I've been tweeting nothing but positivity about this. Um, but that seems to be a little bit cringe. Instead of them working on fixing and making the servers better, they're just trying to convince their community that a three bar connection is good and is, that's irrelevant. No, it's not irrelevant because you know why it's not irrelevant? Because they don't define to us what a three bar connection is. It would be irrelevant if a three bar green connection was 50 ping or 30 ping. If it was 30 ping, that connection is good. I'll play that. But if a three bar green connection is 250 ping, that's not good. That's not good at all. Not good at all. Nevertheless, it is what it is. I would love to see EA come out with a little bit more open scheme uh, for the, the connections against your opponents. The unfortunate thing with that, as I've explained many times before, um, and that a lot of you guys are probably holding your head in your hands right now thinking, uh, because I haven't mentioned it yet, but if EA were uh, transparent with the actual proper connection that you have with your opponent, no one would play a game because everybody has a different connection to the server and everybody has a different connection to their opponent. So for example, I could load into a game for right now that will have me on a four bar connection and my opponent on a five bar connection. My opponent's going to click through and because it's a four bar connection for me, I'll click through currently. However, if they gave us the actual defining ping of what we're getting versus our opponents, take that exact situation, I go in, and instead of a four bar green connection, I see that I have a hundred ping connection to my opponent. I don't really wanna play that, that's a terrible connection in terms of FIFA. Whereas my opponent, because they've got the five bar uh, green connection, maybe they see a ping of 10. Of course they're gonna go into the game. So the disparity of people backing out endlessly because they don't have a perfect connection, no one would play games against each other. So that's kind of why me, you know, editing myself a little bit here. That's essentially why as a business and to make sure people play each other, this is why EA has to keep it very shady, if you will, about what connections we actually get against each other. Because if they were specific, no one would play anybody. Hopefully that makes a little bit of uh, a little bit of sense to you guys. Anyways, moving forward, um, <clears throat> this is where the good stuff comes in. And this is where we get back to praising EA for actually doing good work and being happy that they're doing stuff that we've been moaning about for a long time. Addressing the following issues in gameplay. Let me just drink a bit of coffee. My, my voice is a bit, my, my throat is a bit parched. Yeah, but what difference makes the color? I, I don't need to explain it anymore. If you don't understand what I said, I would just say, go like roll back the video and, and repeat. Go back through what I said multiple times and it should start making sense. Um, so, <clears throat> gameplay issues addressed. Goalkeepers unnecessary clearing the ball when it's passed to them in certain situations. I like that. There's been a lot of times where I play the ball to my keeper and they just smash it out of bounds. Um, instead of like taking a touch and playing it wide like I would want them to, or taking a touch and getting tackled, then it's on me. It's my fault if I made that mistake, right? Um, so I like that little change. I think that's good. Made the following changes in FIFA Ultimate Team. This is where we get into the good stuff right here, dudes. Uh, following changes have made for all FUT Champions League weekend league matches. Oh my God. <clears throat> all matches will now take place in the FEWC stadium with the time of day always set tonight and the weather always set to clear. Praise sweet Jesus. People are not going to be quitting out now based off of your stadium. And praise sweet Jesus. I don't have to accidentally go into games where I'm playing some degenerate moron that's using the Veltons arena and it looks like there's freaking shadows and Rubik's cubes all over the field and I can't see anything. Thank you, EA. 
to all the idiots claim crying and saying, oh, it's so boring, we all play in the same game, same stadium, fuck off and don't play Weekend League. Seriously, I'm sorry for being that harsh, but the fact that I've seen people complaining at EA for doing something that makes sense for the eSport portion of FIFA blows my mind. If you don't want to play in an FEWC stadium and you find that boring, go play career mode. Go play online seasons. Go play the daily knockout tournament. Go play the draft. Like, in... FUD champs, thank God EA is working towards making things equal. Everybody deals with the same thing. I don't have to deal with some tryhard that has green kits because they become invisible on the field to your to the to your peripheral vision, and then some tryhard that also has green kits and then also has a stadium with shadows everywhere that they're used to playing in, but I am not used to playing in, and it completely fucks with my mind. So GG to EA Sports. They deserve a huge bit of credit for that update. That's amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. Moving on. The pre-match screens will no longer display which team is home or which team is away. Instead, players will always see their team on the left side of the screen with their opponent's team on the right. Oh, praise Jesus. Oh, the tryhard idiots that all want to just play home. Oh my God. I can actually start playing homer away and it doesn't matter oh pray sweet jesus oh, i love you ea what an update what a change oh man <clears throat> i feel like driving to burnaby right now and going to their literally just going onto their campus at ea standing in the middle of the field and just doing this just, i'd probably get escorted away by the police but i genuinely would mean it in a good way i would just i'd have fireworks behind me just going pew pew like just it took you guys four months it, it, it literally took you guys four months to do it, but honest to God, thank you. Thank you. You absolute gods. I've been begging for them to bring that in, and they've done it. Everybody now loads into the game looking like they're the home team, and their opponent is the away team. Oh, I, I, I just... It's fucking amazing. What a change. What a change. Um... Even better, and moving onwards, you will no longer see your opponent's kits either. Wait, where, where, wait, 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 where's the, where's the other part of it? They, I think they missed, Fudbin, you guys missed a part of the, oh, they missed the last part of it. Address, they missed the, they, they missed the last part of it. You won't see your opponent's kit, so how do you know? Oh, God. Okay, let me just keep explaining. I can't believe... The FIFA community has disappointed me <laughs> quite a bit. I'm not going to lie. Uh, in terms of their... Uh, uh, oh, that wow. This is much better. Okay, let's... Should we continue that from that point, and then we'll get to the beginning again? Um, okay, home kit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so here... Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Okay, so right here, you will no longer see your opponent's kits either in either gameplay or pre-match screens. Instead, please listen to what I'm about to read out and listen to the explanation if you don't get it. For your own character, don't tweet out saying, Oh my god, but what about kid clashes? Please just um, try to understand what's going to be happening here. In the changes before you spam every community manager with your own stupidity please twitter has been blowing up all over the place with fifa community members that literally just do not understand the update and just go abuse content creators and ea sports devs please okay you will see your opponent play the match in your away kit you will be the home kit and you will see your opponents playing in your away kit okay um, did I skip through it again? Dudes, what am I doing with my life right now? Boo, 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 boo. Okay, so boom. Uh, boo, 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 boo. Opponents match in your away kit. Okay, so the kit selection and match preview screens have been updated as a result of this change. The orbit camera can now be used when watching FUT Champions channel replays as well. Um, so just to repeat, this, these are like, why are these so like back, like, backwards it's super weird um made the following changes to ultimate team pre-match screen will no longer address 
uh, which teams are home, which teams are away. Instead, players will always see their team on the left of the screen. Their team will be on the right. So let me just repeat this again for people that are going to lose their minds. I'm getting confused because the freaking screen cap pictures are, are wrong. But essentially what they've done is what we have begged them to do. Your opponents, nor you, will be able to see each other's kits anymore. Not in the preload screen, not in the actual game. So what's going to happen is... You select a home and away kit, okay? When you go into the game, if you are home, it randomly selects who's home and away as far as I understand. If it doesn't, whatever. Whatever that is. But if you are home, you are your home kit, okay? If you are away, you are your away kit. And vice versa for your opponent. So if you are home wearing your home kit, as they've ex explained, your opponent will be wearing your away kit. So what does that do? That stops every single tryhard again once you get to the actual part of FIFA where you select the kits. You will not have tryhard degener degenerate idiots backing out because they're not home. Now you will also not have tryhard degenerate idiots backing out because you've got a PSG kit. Backing out because maybe you're, for some reason, a Schalke fan or a Wolfsburg fan and they think you're, for some reason, a pro. They're not going to back out anymore. If you want to wear your top 100 FUT Champs kits, you can. People aren't going to back out. People aren't going to back out because of my Leeds kits. People aren't going to back out because of my Elite Monthly kits. You can now wear whatever kit you want. And it's on you to avoid kit clashes. So let's say your home kit is the Elite kit. It's literally an essentially all black kit. It's beautiful. It's got gold trimmings. I think it's got like gray shorts. It's beautiful, but it's essentially an all black kit. All you have to do is make sure your away kit is either a full bright color. So all red, all yellow, all white, whatever it is, there's no kit clashes. No kit clashes at all. You can go into any game you want and kit clashes are on you. So sweet mother of Christ, stop tweeting abuse at EA devs or at us for being happy that with this patch and your reasoning saying, but what about kit clashes? It's so dumb. How do I avoid that if I don't know what my opponent has? You wear your home kit. Your opponent wears your away kit on your screen. On your opponent's screen, it's completely different. They wear their away kit and you wear their home kit and vice versa. So you will always see your home team in your home kit. Maybe that's what it is. But in case EA flip it around and you end up being the away team or whatever, all that you need to know is the only kits that you will see on the field, this is important, is your kits. So make sure you select two differing kits that look different that don't kit clash. And you're good to go. It's not rocket science in any way. It blows my mind how many people are like mad and confused about it. So... Let's just move on here. I think I've gotten through everything. Um, uh, okay, so I, I don't know what this is. Address the following issues in FIFA Ultimate Team as well. Player fitness and squad fitness search filters on the FUD transfer market not returning to correct items. So I guess now squad fitness search is actually going to be working. Um, player contract and manager contract search filters. I got that one, right? Um, I got all of that. Okay, so we covered all of that. The three four bar connections made audio visual changes. Pro, pro clubs, I mean, I'll let you guys read through that. I don't really play pro clubs, but uh, virtual pro having incorrect attributes if it was created when the player is not connected to the servers. Okay, so I feel bad for pro clubs players, man. They deserve that game mode to be good, and EA doesn't seem to really do anything with it, which is unfortunate. Um, and in terms of everything else, I think we've read through it, right? So I repeat, it's an amazing update to the game, bros. No more backing out. Most people complaining about this likely can't even qualify for Weekend League. Nah, it's just people that just don't take the time to understand what's what the changes are. Um, and I'm not even reading my Twitch chat because literally, um, literally, they're just repeating the same insanity that I see all over Twitter. One thing that I didn't touch here. Yes, thank you for the reminder, Twitch chat. I love you guys. I do appreciate that. One thing I didn't... Uh, ah! Literally the part on the screen that's right there. This is the only thing that we didn't uh, touch on. Gameplay wise, we are also moving in the right direction. For lack of a better explanation, they are trying to fix without actually addressing that the kickoff is broken by saying, yes, we know there's a kickoff glitch. That's just 
you know, that's their that's their decision. They're they're obviously allowed to uh, to decide how they want to describe what they're fixing in broken glitches. But anyways, for lack of a better explanation, they're trying to fix the kickoff boost, which is one of the most annoying, horrifying things in the game. If you don't play FIFA competitively or you don't play a lot of online FIFA, essentially from the start of the game, when the game kicks off, the start of the 45th minute into the 46th minute, so from halftime, going into extra time, so in the 90th minute, you know, and onwards in extra time, 105th minute and onwards in extra time, or when you or your opponent scores and then they kick off, whatever, if they score in the ninth minute, in the 10th minute when you kick off, essentially when you kick off from the center circle, the defensive team stands there like idiots, like pylons, all spread apart like morons. No one moves, no one defends anything, and you could just run through their team, pass it a little bit, everyone stands around, it's very easy to score. The propensity, the percentage of scoring after you concede or right from kickoff is idiotically high. And... As you can see from the patch notes behind me, they are trying to work on that, which is amazing. So, the changes they made to gameplay are, after kickoff, the defending team will be more compact in defense. That's good. I don't know if that'll directly fix the kickoff, if people can still run through you, but that's a good start. The attacking players will be less aggressive in pushing up the field. Their defensive players will close the space between them and their attacking players to reduce the gap and limit the attacking team's space. So... Essentially, I think it means that they're bringing in more AI interaction from um, the kickoff of of the game. And that's good. I, I like that. Now, we just need to wait. We need to be patient. We need to see what does that mean for us? Does that mean that EA is now even more changing the rest of the game as well with more AI influence and making AI players stronger? We don't know. But if you're a glasses half full, you're an optimistic type of player which I'm trying to be as a content creator because I think it's a better example for you guys as 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 a, you know, as a content creator. I'm trying to be the optimistic type when it comes to these updates. So I'm taking this as EA are trying to fix the kickoff boost and I'm happy about that. They've addressed it. They're working on it. If you're a, gla a glass is half empty or a pessimistic person, you could look at this, of course, like the entirety of the community is in the mentions and on Reddit. You could look at this and say, oh, great. This basically means that AI defenders are going to be gods now everywhere on the field. whoop de doo So what I would say is I'd highly recommend to look on the positive side of things and or be neutral. Wait till we get the patch, you know. Don't get too mad at EA thinking it's a bad move. Don't get too excited at EA thinking it's the best move ever. Let's all just be patient in terms of the gameplay changes and see what happens once we've downloaded the patch and once we all finish our... 20 or 40 games of weekend league we can all make an assessment after that i think i, I don't want to get too up ea's butt positively or negatively let's just be neutral and and wait till we actually play the game and see how the changes are actually implemented within the game um but you can't help but at least think it's a step in the right direction i'm i'm very 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 happy with what they're trying to do the changes to the loading screen the changes to the kits I can now use whatever kits I want. And guess what? Any cool, weird kit, I can give my opponent. So if I want to wear the like the really awesome uh, Elite Champs kit, I can wear that and then give my opponent some random ass crazy kits. Some like all pink kits if I want. Some whatever kits. Some all yellow kits so it's even easier to use. see them on the field. I absolutely love that change alone. I love the change where now people don't see if they're home or away. It's random. Everyone loads into the game as the home team. That's amazing. It, they've done well. They've done very, very well. And, and that's kind of my sentiment on it. So I wanted to talk about it for you guys, of course. Uh, whoa, whoa, God, imagine I discarded Dino or something. Uh, I wanted to cover all of that stuff, you know, before we went any further um, uh, in this discussion. So I did say we were going to play a game. Let's get, let's see if we can find a game in the semifinal of the Daily Knockout Tournament. Um, and uh, I think we'll do that. If we win the, the semifinal... We'll go into the final, um, uh, lose, and then we'll we'll do like we'll do a final uh, final little outro there. How is Team of the Year Bonucci? He's fantastic. He's fantastic. He's he's notably much better than Eric Bailly. <clears throat> you only see your kits though. Oh my God! I, I so I've explained it all out. People that still want to doubt everything that I've said or the explanations, I'm just going to ignore from here forward, and and just refer them to. You know, um, 
my video explaining it. I just, I can't, I can't constantly deal with the same, like, z zero brain cell people that just repeat the same thing without even understanding what the changes are. Like, I, I just, I can't. Still no server or delay improvements. That's true, but you gotta give it time. Give it time. Give it time. Maybe they will, maybe they will change that stuff, right? You can lead a donkey to water, but you can't make them drink. Exactly. I mean, usually it's a horse to water, but in this instance, considering we have a new donkey in the club now, I agree with that statement. I agree with that statement. All right. Do that. Do that. I've played this guy a few times in Weekend League as well, so this is not like it's someone that hasn't made it. Uh, nice, you're pretty rude. No, I'm not rude at all. I'm realistic. If you take what I've said there as me being rude, you're uh, an unfortunately far too coddled snowflake in modern society. And you can't deal with people being uh, honest with you. And you definitely are not someone that belongs in my channel, for sure. You're not going to enjoy my content at all if you find me being rude uh, in an instance like that. Okay, that was a that was an odd one. I've also changed, and you guys let me know how it looks on screen. Um, I don't. My Twitch viewers haven't complained about it, so uh, I hope it's good. Oh, Ronaldo, that touch. Um, but I've changed my camera to co-op, so I get an even farther away look at the at the at the field, and it just lets me see the play develop a little bit better than normal, which I like a lot. Um, Patty cakes. Bon Bon? Oh, Gigi. Stones his old teammate. Why is Messi at the near post? Let's see if he knows what he's doing. He does have 99 heading. Oh, too short, though. Too short, though. I don't like it. The game looks slow. Dude, this is still the same game, man. We're not, I'm not playing in the new patch, bro. <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's still the same game. Or are you talking about the camera angle? You don't like it, it looks too slow? I, I love it because I can see the whole field. I can see the play develop a lot better. That's a goal. Dude, man, like, he literally just turns and smashes it in the net instantly. You know? Like, and hand down, it was just watches it float in the net. You never thought he was going to miss Alan. No, you didn't. Like, I mean, he's a cool head and he's one that... Yeah. He never likes to smash the ball. No. Come on, Handanovic. Are you kidding me, brother? Ridiculous. Had him penned in his half for the first 10 minutes. He just runs down the field. That's going to be gone, though. You know what? Uh, I'm very happy that that's going to be gone. Because I shouldn't be scoring stuff like that, you know? That's why I'm excited that they're going to fix the kickoff boost, man. You know? This guy, still, as cheesy as it was, his first opportunity scored. He shouldn't be conceding three seconds later. You've taken how many shots? I don't actually remember if I've even... I've, I've taken a couple of shots this game, right? Um, nice goal. Eh. It's not a nice goal, though, dude. It, that, that went in because, again, it's from it's from the kickoff. And let's see. Let's see if he scores from the kickoff here as well. Come on, Arturo. Show me what you got, baby. Show me what you got, baby. This guy's a good FIFA player. Like I said, I, I've played him in, in champs. Oh, he overcommitted there, but Leo just didn't make the right run. There it is. Let's go, Leo. Point to the sky, baby. Point to the sky, you god. I just need to get used to Messi, that's all. There we go. Good turnaround. What is that? Three goals scored in five in-game minutes? Wow, I can't... I, you know what? That was a bit risky, me going near post there. All right, okay, now we got to defend another kickoff boost. Come on, baby. All right. There we go. Leo, oh, how is he too slow to get there? I was hoping because Ch Leo has the, uh, the chip keeper trait or whatever, I was hoping for a little dink over Buffon. 
Just didn't get there, though. Gigi freaking outpacing Leo to the ball. Fair play. Here we go. Oh. Leo, come on. You can't get caught. Oh, my God. What the hell was that touch? So what I was trying to do there was a burba spin. I I'm sure that was my fault, but crazy. Heavy touches, man. Oh, my God. Leo. How did I score that? I think I cheesed my opponent with that goal. I'm not going to lie. Look at how... Oh, my God. I can't believe I have, like, my favorite player in there. I wish Ibra was usable, man. I wish I could have Ibra and Dino in the same squad. I wish Ibra was meta. I really do. Let's go, Leo. Let's go. And for those of you guys wondering why I don't have Leo Messi on number 19 or maybe number 30, which was the numbers that he had while he played with Dino at Barca, I just, I like the number 99 more. I think he deserved 99 on his card rating for Team of the Year. Um... Oh, there you go. He almost scored from kickoff. Fair play. No, that was... I swear that was aimed forward at Ronaldo. Is he going to do the same thing? He is. He is. He does it again. Oh, my God. Handanovic actually made a save. Oh, okay. This guy enjoys the finesse shots. Got to defend that. Dino Gaucho! Oh, what a save, Gigi. Good shot. Good shot. Wow, pass percentage for Dino is 83%, whereas uh, the Bosnian beast that is Pjanic is 87. Dino 83. Got to work on that. Too easy. Too easy, man. Let's go, patty cakes. I've, I don't think I've scored a single good goal, though. i got to be honest with you guys, man. Dino doesn't look that impressive. Uh, I mean, I'm not a skiller, right? So for you to really be impressed by Dino, you're going to have to watch someone that's good at skilling. I want to try and learn how to skill and, and be good at skilling, like do actual effective skill moves. Um, I, just, I just don't know how to do it, dudes. I've always been someone that just holds a lot of possession, plays the game slow, you know, if anything likes to play like the tiki taka style of, of old school Barca, you know, more than more than skilling. Um, I just I just never think to do it. So you see that delay in that pass, dude? I pressed pass like fucking three seconds before. Touches it, touches it, touches it, then makes the pass when three defenders have already blocked the passing lane. <clears throat> but whatever. I can't complain about gameplay in this game. I I've scored four pretty awful goals. Alright, let's defend. Let's defend. This guy knows what's up. Three goal lead in FIFA is nothing. Here we go. Goretzka. See little things like that. See, see that like Messi. Like, what? Why didn't he? Why didn't he take possession? To me, that's just odd. You know, I just find that super, super odd how he doesn't take possession there. Just watch the ball. Nah, that's my bad. I think I don't know. Maybe I'm expecting too much from Team of the Year Leo. I mean, he still is a fuck card. You know, it's not like he has a hundred stats and everything. Um, oh, that's my fault, too. There it is. That's my fault, too, man. Oh, goodness. I'm not doing... I'm not doing justice to Messi, bros. I'm not. I, I don't know why I didn't shoot crossbody there with him. That was that was a poor play. I think this guy's done. By the 45th minute. Or is he making... Or is he making substitutions? Let's check it. See you later. Okay, so as a as a gesture of goodwill, 
Um, let's go into this final real quick as well. See if we can find someone in the final. Um, and, uh, and undoubtedly take an L because I'm a bad FIFA player, right? 45th minute and 90th minute. Uh, is Are they going to fix that next? I don't think they'll ever fix that because... It, there's a lot of reasoning behind it, but the 45th and the 90th minute stuff allows people to get back into the game and makes the game more exciting. For the person that concedes in the 90th, of course, it makes them rage. For the person that wins in the 90th, of course, though, it makes them feel good. Or if they if they equalize it in the 90th, it makes them feel good. You know? Like, see? This stuff right here, you don't you don't you don't deal with this stuff anymore, man. These tryhards. These tryhards that want to make sure they're playing idiots, like, <clears throat> uh, pick a different squad so it doesn't, oh, that's a good point, so it doesn't ruin my player's stats, I feel that, I feel that, it's all placebo in my opinion, I just, I couldn't, I could not disagree with you more, bro, uh, okay, so let's go squad builder, D should we use, uh, should we use our leads past and present squad, yeah, exactly, guy's trying so hard, he was gonna beat me no matter what, Squad selector. Here we go. Um, past and present leads. All right. Uh, let's just go with bronze. I mean, I, I don't think I have any real leads players, do I? Let's do this. Doom, 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 doom. Bronze team and try to win. Um... I'll give it, I'll give it 10 in-game minutes, okay? I'll give it, you know what, I'll use, okay, so this is what we'll do. The second I concede, I'll, I'll give up. How about that? The second I concede, I'll give up. So make this, uh, less stressful if possible on, uh, on my opponent. Um, do I have any lead strikers? I thought for sure I had lead strikers. No? Where where are all my where are all my leads boys at? What's going on here? Where are all my leads boys at? What? Wow. Okay. We might have to build a leads team for this, dudes. Um, let's just do that. Uh. We'll do, not like it matters, we'll do that. Uh, yeah, let's get Dave in there. Let's go, Dave. Um, let's do, what type of what type of bronzes are we working with here? There we go. Let's do this, and let's do this. All right, there we go. Full bronze team and elite team is pretty much the same thing. You watch yourself, okay? You watch yourself. What is this team? Just having some fun in the final. Not really taking anything too serious. We're we're already we already auto qualify for weekend league, so no need to uh to shit on someone in the final that maybe has killed themselves to get to the final because EA's broken weekend league system forces people to still have to qualify for the weekend league when when that's just the dumbest thing ever. Watch me not even find someone now. Here we go. <clears throat> Shame there's no Cantona icon, dude. Honestly. <clears throat> Watch this guy have a full icon team as well. He's just going to get the easiest win of his life. Alright, let's see what this person has. Let's see what this person has. <laughs> Anyways. This person needs the win. At least he's using, at least he's using Dino. So, we'll try and be the good guy here. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. So, uh... Let's see how long I can stop this guy from scoring. Okay, chat? Alright, YouTube? Sorry, I forget to include my YouTube viewers in this stuff. Let's see how long we can keep this guy uh, from scoring. I was trying to feed Dave there. Oh god, is this first attack gonna be a goal? Is this first attack gonna be a goal? Dino, please! Don't do it! Oh god, his first attack's gonna be a goal. 
Gonna sweat it to Dino. Get it out of there! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No. No, no, no. I've got like a 50 rated bronze keeper. Don't shoot from anywhere. Don't let him shoot! Don't let him shoot! Ah! Yes! Beautiful place. Oh, God. Casemiro, you dick. There we go, Ronnie Vieira. Let's go, baby. Oh, Ronnie Vieira, you still... Oh, no. It's, I'm on I'm on Park the Bus, aren't I? I forgot I'm on Park the Bus, dudes. Otherwise, I think Ronnie Vieira would have made that run. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Here we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Ronnie, come on, man. Can't do me dirty like that. Oh my god, Kamar Roof. Come on, baby. Come on, Kamar. Come on, baby. Hello? Okay. <laughs> uh, Time to track back? Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. Here it is. Dave? Dave! Oh! Roof just hit the crawl. Oh my god, I thought that was in the net, dudes. Oh man. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, you know what? I might build a full past and present Leeds United squad to try and do this, man. Just try and get ourselves into the final and, and see how much we can stress out our opponent um, until they score. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Um,. Let's play this to Rio. Uh, all right, we got to start. Maybe next episode, we'll open all those packs for the new team of the week, and then maybe we'll put together a past and present lead squad. Oh, I just wish there's a few more, like, you know, a Mark Viduka, Harry Kuehl, Ian Hart, stuff like that, man. A Yaboa. Oh, my God, dude. What was that clearance? Thank God we got Rio. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. No, sneak in a Paul Robinson or something like that. Dave. Alioski! Oh, come on, son! Gotta make that pass, dude. Oh, we're doing all right here. 23 minutes, man has it scored, dude. It's basically first goal conceded wins, you know? Unreal. Come on. Come on, I believe, boys. Cause some panic. All the people that want to scream handicapping are probably losing their mind right now. See? Oh, no way! Alioski! Oh, my God. I got to apologize. I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> wow. What a run. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's go, boys. What, a, what the hell? was that pass from a 56 rated striker dude i can't even make a pass through ball like that with team of the year messy man like and then my non nonsensical freaking striker <laughs> oh my lord bro that's so good all right is he gonna score the kickoff boost i would assume oh my god the panic oh, how did he get the ball back he's gonna score Okay, so I guess the deal is we lose when we go down, right? So once I'm in a losing position, that's when we lose, essentially. And I give up. Oh my god, Alioski. Please! Oh, it's offside! Oh my god! That should have been 2-1! Oh! What? How was he offside? How was he offside there? He was in front of the goalkeeper and the center back who was behind the goalkeeper. Oh my god, Alioski should have scored that. Let's be real, Alioski should have scored that. 
Oh my goodness. Oh wow, that pass though. I love the Ronnie Vieira and Alioski partnership though. It's really nice. Come on. Oh my god, Dave, you need to do better, man. <laughs> this is too good, dude. Oh, come on, keeper! Yes! What a save, Byron, you dumb idiot! Oh my god. Come on, boys. We got this. Okay, here we go. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Alioski! Again! Come on! No! What the hell? I should be 3 1 up! Oh my god! Kamar, how are you not just heading that in the net, dude? Holy! Come on, Alioski. Use those five star skills, BB. Kamar? Ah! Come on, boys. We got this. Oh, God. Oh, God, no! Sweet Jesus, Neil! <laughs> a 52-rated bronze center back just shoved a gold attribute carded Neymar off the ball. Oh, dude. What is the meaning of life? Dude, the stats are going to be so good for me. Oh, Debron. Oh, damn hell. Come on. I can't believe we've got to halftime with this team. I cannot believe we've made it to halftime with this team. Let's go, man. Look at those stats. Sweet Jesus. Um, okay. No changes, boys. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to try and just man up here. What did he make any changes to his team? Um, he's got he's got Musa Dembele, Rooney, Bakayoko, oh god, he's bringing on, he's gonna bring on Sane for sure. For sure. Use this in weekend league? I, no, I would honestly jump out a window. I'd be ready to jump out a window at this point. Um, alright. Oh god, if this guy scores two kickoff boost goals to beat me, I'm gonna be very upset with him. No Nick 28T. No Nick 28T. Why are you being so so lackadaisical with your... Dave. Dave! Oh, good save, Byron. Terrible shot by Dino. Vernon? 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 Show me what you got, baby. Okay, that was my fault. That's a, that's a very poor pass. Very, very poor pass. Yes, Vernon! Good recovery. Come on, Alioski. Show me what you got, baby. <laughs> Get wrecked, Kevin! Oh god, he's recovered fully. Dave? Dave! Bish! Dave! Does that not look like it was going in the net, or is that just me? Am I high on coffee right now? What a header backwards. Come on, Kamar. Come on, Kamar. Kamar! No way! Alioski and Kamar Roof have scored! What the actual hell? Oh my lord! Let's go! Look at the play! Dude, this like 50 rated right bat or striker is ridiculous, man! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, come on boys. Come on boys. We got this. Come on. Don't let him score two kickoff boosts. That's not fair. He's going to as well. Look, my whole team's standing off.
I'm sad. I'm sad that we've scored two beautiful goals against this guy, and I've conceded two kickoff boost goals to a dude that's using gold attribute cards on his god players. <clears throat> Almost. Almost, boys. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. No goals. No goals here. No goals here, boys. Oh. Oh, God. Ronnie. That's game over. Oh! This guy is much better than me. It's alright. We put up a good fight. We lasted to the 62nd minute before we actually went down. So, fair play. This guy deserves to get through. Uh, we'll call it there. Let's have a look at the let's have a look at the player ratings here. Look at that Ennis, dude. Ennis with two assists. Alioski with a goal. Kamar Roof with a goal. Alioski with a nine point two rating. It's all good, man. GG's fair play. Hopefully this guy has a great time in the weekend league. Uh, based off of his performances here, though, I don't think he's really going to enjoy himself. But it's all good. It is what it is. We'll let him get through. He deserved to beat me. There you go. We lost, apparently, in the round of 16 instead of the final. Huh, that's maybe something else that EA wants to look at fixing. Anyways, I love you guys, man. Hopefully, you have enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for the support, as always. And, uh, yeah, next episode, we're going to have uh, quite a few packs to open. We've got seven packs in the store to open. And we're looking at doing a past and present Leeds United squad builder to take into the daily knockout uh, final just to have a little bit of fun with FIFA. So we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.